what is the sequence if you are extracting all four? This is the most common scenario. This is all four. Okay. Mm, theoretically, you should not elevate the gums. Usually, we elevate the gum during extraction, but theoretically, what they are saying is don't elevate the gums to preserve no, some bone, crystal bone resorption at all. Maybe 0.5 or something. But if you don't elevate the gum, you cannot no, uh, catch uh, uh, the tooth apically with forceps. So, you'll be catching you know, well below. So there is a more chance for the crown fracture or difficulty in extraction. It is better to elevate the uh, gingiva and catch properly with a forceps than to uh, break it and do it a big flap and remove the bone and cut the root. So better elevate the gum, nothing wrong in it. Okay. And select the proper forceps. The blade should not touch the adjacent tooth. It should be very wide. Okay. Regular premolar forceps is enough. Okay. So giving force, as we already discussed, give you apical force, maintain that apical force, and give buccal and lingual uh, pressure or buccal and palatal pressure. The pressure should be more towards the buccal, less towards the palatal. A jiggling motion is okay. Or you can try one more technique. Theoretical technique is. Apply pressure buccally for 10 seconds and apply palatal pressure for 5 seconds, then apply. Okay, when you are doing like this, what you can do is do 15 seconds, 15 seconds for each premolar. Mm -hmm. So start from 1 4, do it on 2 4, 3 4, 4 4. Mm -hmm. So when you come again to 1 4 again, the prolonged ligament might have you know, loosened, the alveolar socket might have expanded a little bit. So take time in between and do it. When you are coming to low premolar, it is better to do a rotational movement. Okay, rotational movement. <coughs> but it is not always so. Theoretically, for lower premolar, it is a rotational movement. Sometimes you may get some extra root in the lower premolar. It is not always round in cross section. Sometimes it is buccolingually, uh, it is flat. So you may, you can give a little bit of buccolingual movement also. Okay, so you have to give apical pressure, then rotate. You have to give apical pressure, mild buccal and lingual. Always support the uh, alveolus with your left, okay, left hand, so that you will feel the expansion of the bone. Many times, if you extract for a young patients, say for school going, it's below 16, 18, the extraction will be quite easy because the bone is little soft and pliable. But for um, little over 23, 24, 25, the extraction will be, sometimes it will be very difficult. So whether the extraction is easy or difficult for ortho patient, it depends on two categories, two things. One is the roots, the root anatomy. The root is very thin, oh, tapered, um, quite okay. If the root is any trouble, then you will get difficulty in extracting. The second thing is buccal bone the quality of the bone okay. since you are having CBCT if you are doing premolar extraction or the extraction check the CBCT once if the buccal plate is very thin or the bone is very cancellous the extraction is quite easy but if it is uh, thick or if the bone is you no know, cortical the extraction may be a little tough okay. if the um, ortho treatment has started few months ago and the tooth is also bonded already then you are extracting now then it is extremely easy because because of ortho it is already loosened mm. okay. so some ortho use it as a technique they give force for one month then after second month third month they can extract the extraction is very easy but if it is not bonded and no force is given then you have to be very careful okay as already told by Orthodontist that day. Mm -hmm. One more technique is you can apply separate for one or two mm -hmm. days, then you can extract, then the extraction will become easy. Mm -hmm. okay. And theoretically, one more thing is after extraction, you should not compress the socket that you can follow. No and one more thing in ortho extraction is don't give uh, uh, NSAIDs like brufen, uh, diclofenac, don't give, avoid giving because they may interfere with the tooth movement. Theoretically, it is that. So, 
the plain paracetamol is more than enough no need to give antibiotics don't give antibiotics because it is not a infected tooth you are doing in a sterile uh, instruments and environment so don't give imol amoxicillin flagel no just a plain paracetamol is enough that too only for that day is enough the second day third day you have to tell the patient if it pain is there you can take that otherwise why unnecessarily why the patient has to take an you know, uh, paracetamol or any pain pills a one or two dose of uh, paracetamol is enough for our extraction usna unless you are doing a traumatic extraction there is no need for a pain pills or antibiotics okay the main complication of uh, ortho extraction is as i told in the beginning extracting a wrong tooth okay if immediately after extraction if you came to know that oh i have done the extraction and it is still in the four subs or in the tray then immediately you can put it back the tooth in the socket it will take up there is no need to worry but if it has gone to dust bin or you release after one or two days then it is a irreversible uh, injury to the patient then everyone is in big trouble so leave out all ortho extraction any extraction you have to confirm with the patient before that the right side last tooth i am going to extract right you have to ask the patient or you can tell the patient to uh, touch the tooth and okay. the second complication of ortho extraction is breakage If it breaks, then immediately you have to go for a uh, root sectioning and removing with the periotome and uh, uh, combine with the episiotome and uh, uh, to remove it without much damage to the bone, alveolar bone. Okay. Third complication is you couldn't able to remove it or not able to uh, shake the tooth. The tooth is not at all luxating. 